I would tell the ladies, wait until like the commitment is solidified till he tell you 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 his girlfriend. Like because I've seen it happen too much. I mean, yeah. I've done it before mm -hmm. where you kicking it with somebody and it's like in our heads, like it's just routine. Like things yeah. can happen for us and it's just routine. And it's like, dang, I've really been talking to this shorty for like two months and everything mm -hmm. really been cool. And as soon as she hits you with the what are, So what, what, are, we? what are we? It's <laughs> like <laughs> immediate, it's like an alarm go off where it's like, oh, I really was just. Like, I know we was kicking it. I know. And, and where it really get bad <laughs> is when you meet a mama or something, yeah. but you still in your head, just routine. Yeah, really, yeah. You know, but really. you still had no intention. So but I would yeah. say, wait. Just wait. But I'm saying, said. but at the same time. What's up, everybody? I'm Jeremy. This is another episode of Old to Black Love Podcast. As you can hear, we probably doing a little something different. You know, I don't normally do the intro. But before we even get into that, make sure y'all uh, like, subscribe, and follow us on YouTube, Instagram. At Old to Black Love on Facebook and TikTok, Old to Black Love Podcast. You know, we got the merch up at old to black love.com. We got blogs, we got all the episodes, whatever you need. Old to Black Love is at old to black love.com. But now that that's out the way, like I said, you can see that I'm the only one talking. My wife ain't here. I got a little freedom today. You know what I'm saying? I got the fellas with me. You know what I'm saying? For so sure. we got a single males episode. we about to hop in into their perspective. See what all they got going on, because I've been out the game for so long. I'll be telling people, like, dog, I hopped out the game before Tinder was cracking. And I don't know if that was a good decision or not, because they've been having fun out here. But, but I'm going to let them introduce themselves, so go ahead. For sure. What's up with it, bro? First and foremost, I got to say thank you for having me on, bro. Yeah, uh, Daquan, yeah. follow me on Instagram at D-A-Y.Q-U-A-N-N. -N. Yeah. What's up, everybody? My name is D-Sims. Uh, Instagram, D-Sims21. Uh, Appreciate you, bro. No, no problem. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm Tay. Uh, thank you for having me on. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at uh, Tayday20 and Twitter, Tayday20. Bet, bet. Before we, before we go any further, we all single, right? I ain't going to have nobody girlfriend. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Hit me up. Single, single, he out here single, lying. Single, nobody going to be blowing up my spot. Single, we single, out the right? game. Single, all right, single. bet. So, like I said, I'm yeah. here to learn, bro. So, what is it, what is it like out there? Like, how, how do y'all even, like, meet women now? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, back when I was, it was kind of parties. You, you know, you a friend of a friend. It was, you know, Twitter, you know, IG, sure. maybe a little bit, you know. Yeah. So how y'all how meeting women? Really? Social media. Social we media. Are outside. We outside yeah. with we it. We outside? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I tried day naps. Uh, I did that for a little bit, but. <laughs> What's it like, I mean, bro? What's I it? mean, shit's all right. But really, nobody's talking about anything. You know, you match yeah. somebody, y'all don't even talk. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's <laughs> really nothing out there. I actually met some cool girls on Tinder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. okay, okay. How that how that go though? So like uh, my my opinion of Tinder is like okay, it's supposed to be a dating app, but it is like a hookup app. This is what mm -hmm. most people call it anyway. Mm -hmm. So like when you hit a chick up on there, do you like how do you establish them boundaries? Like what you looking for? Like do you say like I know it probably start off with like a cool like what's up? Yeah, they usually got they, it in their bio too. Oh, they got it in the bio? Yeah. Okay. They okay. <laughs> okay. When I was playing sports, that's when we use it when we're going out of state. Some some teammates say, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Okay. You get the it's in the bio. Yeah, it's in okay. the bio. Hey, you hey. if, you ever don't, notice, don't. if you ever notice, like women always talk about, oh, you gotta crack a joke to really you know, gain my attention. I'm like, it's not doing that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's doing too much. You get a you hey and an emoji. Yeah. Hey and emoji. Yeah. yeah. They go out you. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Man, bro, it's crazy with me. Kind of like what he said earlier. I mean, just showing interest through social media first. Yeah. I mean, it's still kind of, I mean, we in Oklahoma City. I mean, some people still kind of consider us a small market. But we do have like local artists, you know, some, yeah. some vibes, some late night activities starting to take place. So I think um, human interaction, like social media has really kind of stripped us from that. So you yeah. kind of show interest first through social media, maybe liking a couple pictures. Yeah, then you see at an event, and <laughs> yeah. it's kind of like, yo, how you doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'll say that, bro, for sure. So, so Larry, right, so when we hop, when we get past the DMs, like, what's the courting process like? Is y'all like going out there, like looking, like, I mean, is it really just like for the hookup, or y'all like really trying to like to vibe with a chick? Like, what's the courting process like, like right now? Because like, I know y'all sliding the DMs, but like, we 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 meeting up the next day, we meeting up a couple weeks. Facetime, every, Facetime, really, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, Facetime. That's like the, yeah. Yeah, you gotta get real. the first face time the, in. Gotta confirm. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta it's confirm. Real. <laughs> yeah. it's you, gotta confirm. Like this. you gotta You gotta do that. <laughs> but I think you know the place that I'm at. You know, I'm trying to you know, be serious with somebody. Yeah. So, you know, take them on a date. You okay. know, in a place where we can actually communicate. Not a movie theater or anything like that. Just yeah. where we can talk. So, yeah. yeah. I'm always starting with coffee, bro. I know coffee. women, they I know they tired of dudes trying to do the late night. Oh, let's link at 8 30, 9. Yeah. We might as well just pull up at my crib, whatever the case may be. So I always hit them with like that 9 a.m. coffee Saturday morning. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always with different. the yeah, little, little morning spot. Yeah, throw yeah. them a little off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't on no late night vibes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so what would y'all say your main reason for being single right now is? 
Yeah. Like, is it up to y'all? The like, market y'all may, is scarce. It's the scarce. market is scarce. It's scarce? Yeah. Y'all think it's scarce? Yeah, they, yeah. they just, right. Especially Talk Oklahoma. about it. Talk <laughs> about it. Like, what you mean by scarce? Like, it ain't no females or it's no females that meet your criteria? Like, man. You know what I'm saying? What is it? Man. A little bit of both. A little bit of both? Yeah, it's like, yeah. we've been here so... You, I've been here 25 years, so yeah. it's just, you know everybody. Yeah. And then, it's just like... Everybody know everybody. Everybody yeah. know everybody. Yeah. Baby so mamas too. Yeah. Uh, baby mamas? Yeah, man. Gotta get mama. nothing, nothing so, against I, the baby mamas I, though. We love <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say, I just feel like I think everybody, everybody trying to love from from defense. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? There's no offense taking place. You know, men, it's really it's difficult for us to pursue because I mean we've been hurt ourselves. And then, mm-hmm. you know, with the whole social media things, people out here getting exposed. We like, yo, I just wanna make sure you ain't out here talking to multiple niggas, but then I'm really mm-hmm. feeling you. So everybody is kind of trying to love on each other or trying to holler at each other from a defensive standpoint. Yeah, so everybody's yeah. kind of timid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, instead of just, Yeah, instead mm-hmm. of just trusting, just stepping out there. Yeah. And I can say I've been guilty of that myself for sure. Yeah. 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 I think social media just plays a big part, bro. Like, you know, everybody's, you know, getting a relationship, you know, advice from social media mm-hmm. and taking everything. So it's just like, you know, I don't know if y'all look at Justin the boys, you know, page, yeah, bro. So yeah. Yeah. Everybody takes their yeah. dating advice from you know that, and I'm like, bro, that shit ain't really. Or the celebrity relationship. On me, on me. So like, when y'all out there, so like, so is it like, have you have you ever found a chick that y'all thought she was cool, but then you know what I'm saying? For like, sure. I guess because the way y'all, the way everybody make it seem like when I be asking, because y'all like that, it's scarce. You know what I'm saying? So I'm yeah. like, it ain't none, or it's just but, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like because even like females, they be like, ain't no niggas out here, but at the same time, yeah. I'm like. Niggas be like, ain't no females out here. I'm like, <laughs> no. somebody, you know what I'm saying? So, so I mean, you definitely like, find people you're interested in. So once you find the ones you're interested in, you get to know them, and then you see that you may not be as interested as you thought yeah, you was. Yeah. So y'all shooting a shot when y'all think y'all interested? Like, how oh, it yeah. go? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. I guess, like, so when the, with the ones, that's the ones, let's say. Like, I guess, what is y'all ideal? Like, when you're looking for a woman... Like, what are you looking for? Like, be 100. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, need I mean, of course, you're going to get the visual off top. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the, that's the, that's through the door. I'm not even going to lie. Sure, yeah. Nine, nine times sure. out of 10. I mean, unless you know him for a long that's, time. That's what attracts you, but that doesn't keep you. you know? Of course, yeah. And I think a woman that uplifts you, like, mm-hmm. you know, gets you on your shit. Like, not necessarily like, oh, like. But I'm saying, you, when you're courting, though, when you yeah. start, when you seeking her out, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, when you like, all right, like, let's say, like, when I met Alexis, it was like, okay, like, she was like in school, about to finish school. Like, boom, she had a good head on the shoulder. She always. Went to work. You know, always paid her shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I saw that. You know what I'm saying? When I quartered her, like she was on, she was on her stuff. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't feel like that was like somebody I had to like come in and like fix. Right. Like yeah, that was attractive yeah, yeah. to me. Like right. you know what I'm saying? It was like Facts. I mean I think my wife is beautiful, but you know what I'm saying? Like all that other stuff <laughs> played more part into right. it than for just sure. what she looked like. Yeah. Sure. So when y'all like courting somebody, like is that something that y'all ever look for? Like you know what I'm saying? Like or is it just like I don't know. She got the fat ass, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know that gets you through the door, but it's yeah. like, you know, like Shuddy that don't got the fat ass. That's, yeah. you know, she she got interest in you. You just like, you know, come on, come on, man. I can't, yeah. I can't tell you, don't yeah. nobody got yeah. interest yeah. in you. No, no, we, I say, I'm looking for ambition. You know, goals. Because mm-hmm. I ask a lot of questions about goals and stuff, and just I feel like with the social media now. Girls want to be saved, so that's kind of oh, unattractive. Mm-hmm. Like they move, get into it, bro. What wanna, you mean they, they want to be saved? Hey, they bro. just yeah. They they want money. You think they'd rather women? get they handed to them instead of yeah. going to get it? Got gotcha. you. Right. So right. have y'all been through that experience? Like before we get beyond that, like have you ever gotten to something like that where you try to holler at a chick and she kind of like, "What can you do for me?" As far as like fiscal, you know, financially or something like that. Like, have you ever even been in that situation? Oh, oh, nah, God. but I've seen it up close though. You I seen, seen what it do to do is for sure. So, do you think y'all that kind of like give y'all some like, like, did that make y'all a little like timid? Like that, that kind of that yeah. that expectation kind of make it harder for you to pursue certain women because yeah. you feel like they looking for that. Facts. Yeah. yeah. Or the, the take me on the date. Take you. Yeah. Like, dang, like I could have wanted to take you on a date, but now you said you said take me on a date. So you, yeah, she like, was too assertive with you. Yeah, yeah. There's, no, there's no certainty in that. You know, like it might <laughs> like just go one day and be done yeah. type of thing, bro. I don't yeah. even know. You. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I mean, like me, I'm all for like taking you out on a date. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Certain stuff like that. But it's just like when women just start doing certain things. It's just I like to call like you just being. You doing stuff that's just unnecessary. You saying stuff that's just unnecessary. Like you got to make seven figures and certain yeah. stuff like this. But like, what about yeah. you? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. because for me personally, I know like when I was young, growing up. I mean, of course, a lot of us we wanted to go to the league. But yeah. when I seen that didn't happen for me, the same thing, that same enjoyment and excitement that I got from wanting to be in the in the league, I got that from just wanting to help people and you know yeah. wanting to be in certain spaces with youth. And I realize a lot of times these jobs, these ain't a hundred thousand dollar jobs. Nah, yeah. You know what I mean? But I get more from you know understanding that I'm 
of service to these youth than I would a fat paycheck. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times I've heard women like, even tell me, I can honestly say, even tell me like, well, that's just not going to cut it because I want to go on crazy trips. I want my nails and hair done. And it's like, and I've even, you know, took a step back because I was really, you know, liking her. I'm Mm -hmm. like, okay, so... If I did do all this and I was providing, are you cooking? Are you washing? Yeah. Like, no, this ain't the 1920s. I want to do what I want to do. I want the money yeah. in my hand. I want... And at first, I'm like, okay, this got to be a joke. You've been listening to a little bit too much, sweetie, whatever the yeah. case may be. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real mindset. It's a real, it's a real mindset and perspective that some of these women got. And it's like, yo, I'm not Jesus. I'm not here to save you. You know what I'm saying? That's not, not me. That's yeah. exactly why I say social media is like. You know, so you feel like so so social media got that bigger that bigger influence on like. Yeah, man. I guess it's yeah. like, do y'all communicate this with like? I mean, do y'all even have female friends? Like, let's give yeah, it a book. Y'all sure. got female yeah, friends. Yeah. So do y'all even communicate this with y'all like female friends? Because I, I I'll be honest, like I got my wife. She be telling me what her friends be saying. I be listening. Like it's it just I'm I'm really here to find a disconnect because they be yeah. like because I all right let's get to this like I got some some female friends that'd be like well. A man, if they if they doing successful, they they say some men is intimidated by that. If they yeah. got you know if they got their shit together, yeah. Do y'all do y'all subscribe to that? Like if a woman got accepted, that let's say she making more than you, do that? Do you just be like that's a non-starter? Like I can't even like approach her, or is it no? No, that ain't even a thing. I feel it. Yeah, it'll, it'll make me want to be better. Yeah, it'll make me, yeah. sure. I talk to you make more than me. Yeah, yeah. You know? So it's like whatever. Yeah. Even for me, I'm still attracted to it. Like, yeah. I mean, you you doing your thing, baby. I'm proud of you. Yeah. And like, even for me, like I tell some dudes, like I got a bro right now who's like he's engaged to somebody that's making more money than him. And at first, it wasn't a big issue, but now mm-hmm. he's kind of in a crossroad where he's like, dang, bro, should I be doing more? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, as a man, we always had that that extra thought of should I be more ambitious? And it's like sometimes just let her make more money. Like yeah. you causing more stress on yourself, thinking you have to do you more because do more. she's making more money. Exactly. Just support her, yeah. do what you do. And so for me, I think my thing is just always like, I'm not finna stress myself out and try to go, you know what I'm saying? Do more. I'ma just love you and support you in what you do. So so and what would you say? From, oh, you got it, bro. You I'm gonna say they go from social media too. Like uh, just what you see on there. Like if he ain't paying your bills or just yeah. like that but make that a man real, feel though? that like. I, that's what I'm like, but is I'm that really real? Y'all <laughs> yeah, telling me it's see, really real. Bro. You're telling me that's really real though. What? Like chicks really want you to pay their bills like just off the dating. You know what I'm saying? No, just that's off the really like, real. And I'm super, I'm mad at the dudes wherever they at. I want to look in the camera wherever y'all at. That's <laughs> doing it. That's yeah, bro, doing it. Me, y'all out here doing it. Y'all got them thinking that's the expectation. That's what I'm supposed it's to the do. The rappers and athletes. <laughs> yeah. Bro. But yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, hey, tricking if you got shit, it, bro. bro. So, so what would you say to the women? Because like I said, I, my wife, she got her masters. A lot of her friends, they in the same, you know, they run in the same crowd. Yeah. And they swear that men be intimidated by them having some success. Black a black woman with success. They always say a black woman. They don't ever yeah. say a woman. They always say a black woman. Mm-hmm. So what would you say? Would you say like that's something that they some something that they kind of seen on of course you can't speak to everybody, but you saying like that's kind of something that they are putting on themselves and that's not really reality for everybody. Mm-hmm. I mean of course like you said like men definitely want to like get into a situation which I want to more comfortable before yeah. you pursue and we'll get into that in a little bit. But that's not a non starter for you to get get going for y'all at least. Yeah. Nah. Like yeah, like you like that. Like yeah. I like it. No, for yeah. sure. And, and that ain't that, that ain't y'all want to be getting taken care of either, is it? No. You know what I'm no, saying? No. Like keep it a buck. Because them I will want to save. I will. I will. <laughs> and I, yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what I'm saying? Because some people be like, well, uh, some females will say like, well, uh, I make more than him, and you know, I don't want him to, you know, that's that whole thing. Like I don't want to. He don't want to be a baby. I ain't his mama. That kind of yeah. deal. I've heard that out there. And that ain't what it is. You know, nah. most of the time, like it's okay. Nah, she make more. You know, I it think is. that's a, I think that's attractive. Me yeah. and Alexis, we go back and forth. Like we yeah. make about the same amount. I get raised, I make more. She get raised, she make more. Nah, and that's sure. that's a beautiful balance mm-hmm. to me. Facts. But it was a time where she was making way more than me, and there was a time where I was making <laughs> way more than her. Nah, for sure. But I feel like I don't feel like money. Uh, I don't feel like money make a man. No, like I, uh, I feel like you know, I ain't, it ain't here from this ain't my episode. But I don't feel like money make a man. Like you could do, you could be a man and make less than your wife. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you could be a man, you could take care of your house, provide for your family. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Make sure your wife feels secure, your family feels secure, and not right. make more. I don't feel like yeah. money make a man. Broke and I feel just like, a mindset. Yeah, it's just a mindset. Exactly. Especially, I feel like a lot of people ain't uh, don't don't build no more. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I feel like everybody kind of want the finished product, yeah. and y'all kind of saying that like a lot of people like want you to already. Be done. Do y'all feel like that attribute to y'all age? Y'all too, especially mm-hmm. Daquan, you a little younger, so you got, yeah. I don't know what women you're pursuing. You might be on them cougars for all I know. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, like you, you, the women Pers- y'all kind of pursuing would be kind of starting at least into their career by yeah. this point. I mean, I kind of always, you know, talk about that. You know, yeah. I want to be with someone I can build with. Yeah. You know, that's like a number one thing for me. So okay. If I can build with you, then, you know, I can see something with you. Yeah. 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 And then I think 
back what uh, they say black black men are, are intimidated by black women. I think it just it's a line be- between like a strong black woman, then she on on the wave of I don't need a man. So yeah, then yeah. when she's when she a woman feel like that, like yeah. all right, that may be more intimidating. Like you don't need me, so yeah. What can so I, well, let's I don't get into that. You. Let's get For into sure. that. So yeah. when a when a woman say like I don't need a man, like what did that? What did, how did that make y'all? Feel you know what I'm saying? They'd be like, "Well, shit, like she, she's too spicy." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, is it like, yeah. what is it? What is that? Like when she say, "I don't need a man," because I mean, clearly, like most, you, of course, yeah. you don't need a man, but yeah. you should want, you should want one. one. Yeah, <laughs> you, you don't want one. <laughs> so yeah, so it's just that energy off the top yeah, where they just you like, feel like it's just energy at the door where you just like, well, she already kind of let me put me in my place. Like, what is it? You know what I'm saying? It's like, almost like yeah. insinuating that my presence isn't accepted. Yeah. Like point blank period. You saying you don't need me, and in some cases, uh, you know, a lot of men not gonna be honest, but a lot of times we already deal with in, like insecurities ourselves. We might not be outspoken about them, but when you say stuff like that, I'm we leading with our insecurities at that point. We like, you know what? Okay, you don't need me. All right, cool. But I already might be thinking as a man that I'm not enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm already having certain insecurities about myself. I probably had a goal and a vision that didn't go the way I wanted it to go. So now I'm kind of in a crossroads where I'm like, man, shoot, now my woman's saying she don't need me. I didn't get to do what I really wanted to do. I'm, like, I'm stuck, shit. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. That's that's tough, especially yeah. when you hear that from your lady. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, do y'all feel like? I mean, we kind of getting into it. You talked about like societal pressures. Yeah. Like, let's say, do y'all feel like you mentioned building, but a lot of women have mentioned like, do you feel like you? They feel like men feel like they gotta have all this stuff together to go further in a relationship. Like they, like how y'all say that they expect. And of course, all women and men is different. For I don't sure. want nobody in the comments talking crazy. But a lot of women say like, look, I'm trying to talk to a man. And he don't want to get serious with me, or let's say engaged. Y'all not even to that step yet, but let's say right. like a man don't even want to get in, he don't want to get engaged because he feel like he ain't got the bread. So I think that go back to societal pressures. Do y'all feel like them societal pressures where you feel like you gotta have everything together before you really take a uh, chick uh, serious, like for yourself, like you gotta have everything in line, or do you feel like you know you want you are you looking for a woman that'll help you kind of like personally? That's that's how I feel. I feel like that's, I ain't never been in a, a relationship yeah, like yeah. or a real relationship yeah. because. I feel like I just I want to be a provider. Yeah. I want to I want to be that for for a woman. So it's just I, I ain't ready. So financially I ain't ready. I want to get to where I need to be, and then but then it's like a, a conflict of where when you are getting there, are they who really want you for you, yeah. or do they want you for what you, what so, you can so, offer them? So I guess. <clears throat> what, what is that? You know what is that feeling like? What goes into that? Like you know, as far as you saying like I want. To be financially ready, like what is the? I guess what's the mindset behind that? Like you, I know you say you want to be a provider, but like, I, I guess what what level is you trying to get to? Is my thing because like you know because you women I feel are like you expensive. could keep chasing that. Mm-hmm. Women, women are, are uh, expensive, expensive, so it's, it's well, like let's those, talk about those thirteen it. dollar like, meals now they. 50, yeah. 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. am I ready for that? Is, but is what that if gonna she be don't want, what if she, what if you find a woman that ain't necessarily like, that don't need that? You know what I'm saying? I feel I'm like sure. that could be a conversation. At where the, she they, like, they still want it. Just because of social media, we're going to uh, go back to, yeah, they're going to see everybody saying, else on social, social media yeah. getting it. You feel so like they're going to put that pressure yeah, back yeah, on it? Like, it's just like, bro, you want to do more for your woman, man. Yeah. You want to take on trips, you know, do different shit. You can't really do an okay You want to sitting around the house. Look, I don't disagree. Yeah. <laughs> I, but I got with my wife young enough where it's like, all right, we could be. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, I ain't yeah, supposed yeah. to have it all right now. No, but, but so I definitely understand that. But like I said, I spoke to some women before here. But, you know, what if they saying like, look, I don't, it's, they say it's women out here that don't need all of that. Do y'all that. feel like y'all not seeing them? Or y'all not giving them the light of the day? Could, or, you know what I'm saying? Or do you just lying. feel like they lying? They, they said it. They said it. They they said said it. it. I, I would agree. It. 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 I would agree I have. Like, I think a lot of times it's, it's been me. Yeah. Like, kind of like you said, like, you just reach a point as a man where we always going to be hyper ambitious. Like, yeah. we always want more. Until I finally just took a step back. Like, I'm going to be honest. I need a woman. I want my black woman. I need yeah. you. Because I understood, like, I'm not going to be complete until I get her. Yeah. And I think we think once we get the money, once we get the stability, we gonna be complete when in all actuality you're not gonna be because you're gonna always it's gonna always be something more and something more and something more. Yeah. So for me, I think it's just getting over that fear of commitment and just saying, you know what, Babe, I ain't got it like this right now, but I got this. Yeah. Like you said, just a simple conversation, but yeah. communication is always. But that's what I'm saying. So I guess you saying that you want to be able to provide, but like and even you, D, like is it like a, do y'all feel like y'all can? You feel like it? Do you feel like it's not space for you to even have that conversation? Like, look, I really like you, but I ain't got it right now. And mm-hmm. you know, do you even feel like it's space for that? Like when you meet, even when you meet a chick, let's say you like down bad, mm-hmm. like don't like. I mean, ho- 
you know, don't know why you want to be down bad, but it's right. points in your life where you're down bad. Sure. I met my wife, I was down. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't like homeless, but I was down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was definitely yeah. down. So it's like, you know, are you, I didn't want to, I didn't want to acknowledge it at the time. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I would, like you kind of mentioned, like I would do whatever, scrap together some change, because mm -hmm. that's just kind of dude I am. But do you feel like it's not even space for you? You feel like that's just like, you can't, you feel like you can't even speak to a woman and tell her like, look, I ain't got it all together right now, but I, I definitely see myself with you, but I ain't got it all together right now. Do you even feel like you got that kind of space for men to even have that conversation? Yeah. yeah. Depending on the woman you're dealing with. Yeah. Some, are, some are understanding. Some, some, yeah. some, some, some don't some, care. Some do love you for you. Some do love you for you. That much, yeah. you know, to be there and, you know, believe in yeah. you. You know, that may get you to where you want to be at. You know, yeah. that hard so, word. So I guess when you say, like, uh, some and some don't, I guess my thing is, like, have y'all been on the the rejection side? Because I feel like you know some people yeah. talk in, out of fear, but like have we have y'all experienced that you know rejection side or is it? Because I know a lot of times it be us getting in our own way sometimes. Because even just with stuff outside of relationships, I know sometimes you can talk yourself out of it yeah. because like uh, it's called you know projecting. You project your own like you had mentioned your own personal feelings Honestly. on yourself onto certain situations. Right, so sure. I'm not trying to get too deep, but have y'all experienced that you know where somebody has said like you know, like. No, <laughs> yeah, that, no actually, yeah, you a bum. Yeah. No, <laughs> not, not necessarily that, but they was they be on some. You gonna take me? You gonna take yeah. me on the damn? Like that's just not where I'm at, right? Or just like you gonna cater yeah. to me or court me? So when you when you courting the chick, like let's say right now, like mm -hmm. all right, I like this. So right now yeah. you talking to this chick, boom, on, on IG, y'all been y'all been FaceTiming for say two weeks. Like what what's it looking like when you meet up with her? Is she just coming to the crib? Mm -hmm. Y'all going out? What is it looking like? Mm -hmm. Just keep it a bug. It depends yeah. on like how I'm feeling there, you know. Yeah. If I'm feeling there, bro, we going out. You going out? But if it's like one of those things where you know you just there and then you just come up to the come spot. To the but I'm saying like you really. Let's. I'm saying you pursue her. Like you like. Mm -hmm. oh, I like we, this we chick, and that's more attractive too. Just like oh, they, yeah. they ain't gotta be taken out. They cool with just chilling. Man, I like because I mean like yeah. we don't even know each other. I'm gonna go. Yeah, spend my hard earned money on you just all these. Cause you don't know. Yeah, I don't even but know. That's you. Saying, but I'm Let saying, me come like, hang out. Like Let's have a car street. conversation. I guess it's like a two way street. <laughs> First, now, if, if it's if it's two, if we two weeks in, like I said, it's just kind of different. What's it looking like? Yeah, I'm saying like, two, what we doing? Like, we going to like we going to Chick Fil A real quick? What we doing? Like, coffee, you just coming sure. to the crib? Like, coffee, what's up? Bro. What we doing? Coffee, hey, man. Chick Fil A good enough? Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Okay, that's okay, cool. okay, yeah, okay, okay. That's what I'm saying. We just, we just doing a quick meetup. Like, I'm yeah, just trying sure. to see you and meet you in person or whatever. Our I'm just making sure y'all not, you yeah, know. Yeah, I like, I ain't saying you got to take him like crazy, but because I know some things like, uh -uh, I don't ever take no woman out. Like, she comes to the crib. If she ain't come to the crib on the first one. Yeah. Because what's crazy, when you take him out and you do certain stuff like that, some women can start kind of creating these like, motives in their head like they thinking it's more than what it actually is yeah. that's what i've noticed sometimes too about a luxury date and certain mm -hmm. stuff like that in their head it's like oh he's dating me mm -hmm. and it's like oh no 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 no, we weren't there yet i was just you know yeah, wanted to, to do something you. nice wanted mm -hmm. to get to know you yeah so i think sometimes yeah that so can do be you feel like sometimes like a woman trying to move too fast is a little unattractive <laughs> Yeah, hundred percent. So when you say she moving too fast, like like give me an example. Like tell me yeah. what's moving too fast. That's a, two yeah. years too fast. No, I, 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 two <laughs> years. Like, oh, my you brother, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was too fast. No, like, but just that, like a just luxury like, date. Like let's say, like we might have been kicking. I'm like, you know, what, let's do something like where we kind of spend a day together. We might go like to a little game or something like that. Yeah. After that, we go to Asami a cookie, shit, chilling. We walking downtown. We have a nice dinner somewhere like Broadway 10. I ain't never been to Broadway 10. I'm capping right now. <laughs> but I'm just saying hypothetical. <laughs> and after something like that, they can start really thinking like, oh, we're together. And the next day it could be, why you didn't text me good morning? Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, but I ain't never really, okay. And I could kind of blow that off. But it's like to them, they're kind of insinuating what you did yesterday yeah. made me think we, we were together now. So, I mean, do y'all have I similar... I think mean, he's blowing up the phone, yeah, you know, asking, you asking who's texting you. you know, oh, that's like, like shit. So what would you say to, I guess, what could you say to women that, because that, that was a question I had that said, like, why do why do men lead us on knowing they don't have no good intentions? Do you feel like it's a, it's a do you feel like it's a, a, a breakdown of communication it's or is you really the, lead them on? It's just the uh, stats, man. You Men gonna approach the women the same way mm -hmm. if you just trying to, Hit or if you trying to really pursue them, yeah. if, if you got so you admit to the lines is a little blurry. I think yeah, it, I think it's okay. once you like figure it out. Like more you hang out with them, you like ah, you know. So what would you say to women? Like what would you say to women? Like 
Like, how do you how how would a woman know that you really feeling them? That was another question. Like, how 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 would a woman know? Cause like, cause like y'all mentioned though, the lines is a little blurry right there, yeah, and they feel like they feeling like they feeling you, and you know, you acting like you feeling them, <laughs> yeah. but you ain't really feeling them. So like, how a lot of people they say like know. a lot of men lead women on, yeah. and like how do, how would a woman know that you I taking just, them serious? Like, I think that's tough. Really, the title. I feel yeah, like, baby. The title even if I'm really really trying for, to commit right? to you. So would you really... say a woman should? I guess I guess. Ooh, this is good. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like, all right, you say like. Title, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, um, do she gotta be exclusive before she get a title then? Because like, uh, would it sound like if you're not to you? Yeah, yeah. What, but you're not exclusive nah. before she gets. But a I title? mean, as a man, though, you don't. Because I mean, what? Say I it. guess as you don't really know. But you don't know. You don't know unless y'all until y'all have that talk. You don't know, so you gonna always. You ain't trying to get your feelings hurt, so you gonna always just do yeah. you until you really. Yeah. Till you really know that but she, you don't feel like this, like because I'm. Y'all don't feel like y'all communicate. Y'all, y'all don't feel like y'all communicate that with women, though. Y'all crazy. could. Y'all don't feel like y'all could. What I honestly think, bro, like you know, you don't even have to be, or I guess the title you can be exclusive with someone. Um, it's just how you know she may you know be coming at you, such as like the things she do for you. Kind of recognize, like, oh, you know, she doing that for me, not nobody else. You know, mm-hmm. the thing you know, spend time yeah. with me, you know. Take me on dates too. But that's what I'm saying. How does she know that she she lady? You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. he said, okay, we're working up to the title. But like, how how? I mean, would it? I guess it's like how a woman know that she got you saying she gotta make the leap first. That's what it sounds like to me. Because you like she gotta basically put her neck out, and then I'm like, oh, she put her neck out, and then it's up to you to decide if you yeah, you, you grab really or you really. don't. Versus, you know what I'm saying? That's what it sounds like. I would tell the ladies wait until like the commitment is solidified till he tell you you. You his girlfriend. Like, because I've seen it happen too much. I mean, I've done it before. Mm -hmm. Where you kicking it with somebody. And it's like, in our heads, like, it's just routine. Like, things can happen for us and it's just routine. And it's like, dang, I've really been talking to this shorty for like two months. And everything Mm -hmm. really been cool. And as soon as she hits you with the, so what are we? we? It's like, (laughs) immediately, it's like an alarm go off where it's like, oh, I really was just... Like I know we was kicking it. I know, and, and where it really get bad <laughs> is when you That's meet crazy. a mama or something. Yeah. But you still in your head, just routine. Yeah, really, yeah. But ready. you still had no intention. So but I would yeah. say wait, just wait. But I'm saying, said. but at the same time, y'all said yeah, they trying to get that communication. They asking like, what are we? So I can know like, exactly. But it's like you just tell them like, I mean, I, it's easy to say. I mean, like we. I mean, just really, I think yeah. women got like, to But it's like yeah. make him tell. I think they got to tell because me ain't gonna come at them either. Like they gonna come at them the same way. Like even so, it's like it's hard for a woman to guess their intentions because yeah. you just it's really but a risk you like, gotta take. Yeah, but y'all don't feel like that hardened the women a little bit because I think that's why women might be a little more uh, in the sweetie bag, like you said. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Don't if you gonna waste my time, I'll waste your money. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's that's maybe that's why they in that bag a little bit. I respect. It's like, I agree. So, bitch, so you, What's up? I agree. You know what I think like, women it's, should. It's tough. You know what I'm saying? I, I, like, I feel yeah. like, you know, I feel like that's what I mean. Like, when we out here, women got the be power. Talking. They definitely got the power. I think women got the power, too. Yeah, they got the, sure. they make the, the world go too. around. So Especially like, right now. Yeah, sure. so. Especially right but now. But they don't even know that. I feel like. I, I think they're learning. So, yeah, they learning. Yeah. I think they're learning. They learning, but I think they know. That's why I like to make the stallion. I think they be being nice to Nah, for sure. For sure. I like that. I think they be being nice to Another way to kind of skim over the what are we is just boundaries. Like, I think women. Like really keying in and on those boundaries because if you ain't going for certain stuff, the wrong dude gonna flee. Like you gonna yeah. get out of there if the boundary if like he gonna move around. So what would y'all say is coming on too strong? Like you know what I'm saying? Other than the what are we? Because like that question gonna come eventually. Like you I can't. Agree. It's gonna come eventually. Yeah. So it's I like agree. other than the what are we? What do you feel like? Damn. Do chicks be like going through your phone? Like be trying to do that deal? Because that's like a non-starter for me. Like you you, you starting trust issues off you the pay top. This bill. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So do you feel like it's a lot of trust issues like with in this generation? You feel oh, like it's for sure. I mean, I feel like it's always been something, but you feel like just from the jump, it's a lot of distrust just because yeah. of social and I think media it's and the PTSD options. too. Yeah, from PTSD. they past relationships, yeah. They, yeah, they project yeah, that shit yeah, on you yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, y'all, so, they can bring tough. that into yeah. the next one. Like next one, yeah. right, my last one was doing this. Like that don't mean yeah, I'm, man, I'm I like a female that was just like that, bro. I was her first like you know good man. Yeah. So she projected a lot of shit on me. Gotcha. Yeah. So she do y'all feel sabotaged? Yeah, bro. Yeah. It was just you, know, you couldn't be happy. You know, crazy. Was, you know, yeah. Bro. So do y'all feel like? Um, Man, y'all, yeah, y'all, I'm learning. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm like, it's tough out here. Come on, my guys. Tell me, it's, tell me it's better than what it is. Nah, do y'all, um, like, do y'all even see yourself having like families? I think Daquan, you kind of mentioned it. Like, do y'all is that kind of like the goal for y'all to really like start a family? Like one day, it might not be tomorrow, but you know, like that's y'all. That is a goal for y'all. Yeah. yeah but 
right legacy. now is like to leave legacy. a legacy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Never had one. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. growing up in that space where mama was doing it all, like I remember it being below zero and mama scraping the ice off the Ooh. windshield. Like that for me, that was that moment where I was like, I refuse. Like my woman ain't doing none of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know, like for me, it's almost like I didn't even go to my first wedding until last year. Wow. So you know what I mean? Like I'm I'm trying to be something I've never saw before. Yeah. So I almost definitely want to be a husband. Yeah, for sure. Know, so y'all feel like that's a goal for y'all? Yeah, it's a goal, man. When you come, now, uh, yeah. When you come from a good right. family, bro, you want to you know, do the same shit. So you, you yeah. have both your parents? Yeah. And yeah. you say you, it was just moms? Yeah, it was just moms. You, just, you, just moms. Just moms? Yeah. So uh, with just moms, do, do you feel like that motivates you to like want to be? Because like, for me, like I had my dad, no doubt, but like just seeing my dad made me want to be a good dad. Yeah. Yeah. So, But some people like not having my dad. To make them want to be a good dad or make them be an asshole. Yeah. You know sure. what I'm saying? I but, have... Uh, Father figures, so it was yeah. Like, oh, you have yeah, people in your life that stuff. was, yeah. Yes, yeah, so, or just I seen it. A good family, good good husband. Yeah. So you, you so you seen it, like yeah. okay. But that's kind of like yeah, into, I got you. immediate. Yeah. But it was just like friends, so it's like yeah. But, Do you feel like it's some hurdles that even just like when you're out there right now that you feel like, you know, because I feel like sometimes like I take a lot of experiences from my parents, you know, like in my marriage and stuff like that. Do you feel like you kind of like having to learn through that a little bit while you dating? Cause like if it's just moms, you kind of got let's say one perspective per se, yeah. versus oh, yeah, you know yeah. you got the back back and forth. Do y'all feel like you know? I mean, y'all not married right now, so no, it's no, hard sure. to say. But do you feel like sometimes just issues that you run into where you like, damn, like you know, I yeah. feel like it would be this would be easier if you know I had that at home. Facts. Nah, for sure. Yeah, facts, facts. Cause yeah. I feel yeah, I ain't never seen like I don't even think I ever seen my mom really in a relationship. So it's just yeah, facts. I thought single mother. I thought that was just like. I thought that was normal for a while, especially being from where I'm from. It was just that's what everybody was I yeah. had a single mom. So it's yeah. just yeah. and then growing up, become trying to date women telling you things, I'm like, shoot, I I I didn't know that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. That's what right. and then it's even girls tell you like you might have daddy issues or just that's yeah. probably why you don't know how to do this. So, yeah. so what y'all what y'all think about therapy as a group since we we talking kind of now I'm gonna get yeah, back to yeah. some single stuff but what do y'all think like because I feel like even just me and my relationship this past year I've been going to therapy for just a touch over a year now yeah. and I learned a lot about myself that I, sure. I never knew about and I wasn't I wasn't out ever against therapy before yeah. but like you know it don't it don't seem like a big thing it wasn't a big thing in the community yeah, it's growing saying, yeah, in the community, it's growing now Facts. but like you know what do y'all feel about like you know what I'm saying because I feel like before you get married with a shorty or when y'all getting serious, I feel like you should probably go either together or just because you learn a lot of stuff in there, even about yourself. Yeah. But what do y'all think about it? Like, is it is it something that y'all have sought out or will seek out, you know what I'm saying, in I, the future? I, I love it, man. I can yeah. honestly say I was fortunate enough to, to grow up in it. Like, you know, okay. I was just mom, so I was crazy aggressive. Mm -hmm. So I've been in therapy since I think my first time was like six years old. Like, wow. I was in therapy early on. And it just taught me how to communicate those emotions that I normally would have hid behind. I'm straight. Like, I'm good. And I started how to learn and learning how to just simply say, like, mom, I didn't like it when you said that. Mm -hmm. Or like, hey, bro, let's chill out with like that. It just started helping me communicate and learn how to like certain triggers for myself, yeah. which helped me become a better person ultimately because it just helped me in like friendships, relationships, because I was able to just communicate what actually bothered me. And I think a lot of times as men, we always want to be fixers. Yeah. And I think sometimes we think when we confess that we don't like something, maybe we weak. being bratty yeah. or we being weak, when in all yeah. actuality, if something is bothering you, my nigga, like, it's okay. say that. It's yeah, okay. it's okay. Yeah. Like, it's all right. It's okay. Like, say that, because if you hold it in long enough, you gonna blow. Yeah, you gonna blow. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. you gonna so, blow. I went to school. I, I went to school, got my master's uh, to become a therapist and everything like mm -hmm. that. So they kind of you know, said like, hey, like, you know, you're on track to be a therapist. Like, you have to go and get your own therapy. Like, it's mandatory type of thing. And, you know, therapy is needed. Um, sometimes I'm even like sitting at the crib and I'm like, bro, like, I need to talk to a therapist. You know, mm -hmm. some shit I'm just holding on to. Yeah. And I really just want to get off my chest, bro, because I feel like sometimes I want to just cry sometimes, you know. Yeah. And I think having a therapist would kind of unleash that, you know, for me because yeah. I haven't, you know, cried in, you know, a while. Wow, so, yeah. you know, I think it's needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mental health mm -hmm. advocate now. Okay. Uh, I wasn't before, but then 2020, that was probably the worst year of my life. So then I actually, I, w I went to therapy. I was doing it once a week. And then uh, it actually helped me a lot. It helped me unpack some things. And some of the issues that we have now is just, it really comes from our childhood. Yeah. And so, for sure. You just just trying to understand that. Yeah. yeah, trying to understand that. So, so what, what was it before? Like, for me, before, for me going, it was just like, shit, 
I was just being like, bro, I can get through this. Like I seen, and you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it just was nobody else going. So it's like, why, why I need to go? It was kind of like, you know what I'm saying? It's like sure. with nobody else going, like it was kind of my thing. So yeah. you mentioned like before you weren't really on it. Like what, I ain't saying you was against it, but it what was like kind of holding just, you back from before? It's hard, but I mean like the stigma of the of the hood is just like, I mean, you you tough, you, you yeah. know, men don't cry, men don't yeah. men don't show emotions. So it's just like nice. that kind of that grows on you and to, you just bottle it up until you finally get to a breaking point. So mm-hmm. before it was just trying to be hard body, everybody yeah. just trying to like, yeah. but it's, it's okay to feel. And yeah. I, really talk. I feel like it's definitely necessary. So do y'all feel like women give y'all that space to be? I feel like I don't feel, I, I'll i be honest. I feel like it'd be like 50, 50 sometimes. Like I feel like with my wife, she, she asked me to be more vulnerable. Cause I was like being hard body. Like I ain't, she probably never seen me. Wasn't seeing me cry. Like I never expressed how I feel. Yeah. She's like, bro, you got like, give me something. Like you don't have no, you know what I'm saying? You don't give right. me nothing. Like you don't ever tell me how you feel. I got to always guess. Do you feel like it was women out there period, like give y'all space to even just be, you know, kind of like unpack shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or do you yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. they expect you to be all buttoned up all the time yeah. and nothing to be wrong? And when you express how you feeling, like you feel like do they look down on you? Like you being like not manly. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's a good I feel like they say they want that and then when you do now now you acting like now you act like a bitch. Mm-hmm. Like, 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 yeah. So it's like yeah, you feel like they, they give them opportunity to kind of take that that shot. Or at you, like, you know, yeah, blow, blow. like I thought that's what you wanted. And then vulnerability is that's scary. That's scary. Scary, scary. Yeah, it's scary. That's, that's why like, I'm asking because yeah, I'm like, like, is it even a space out there? Because yeah. like, like you said, you mentioned like uh, you you catch some women that always post, you know, like black men have feelings too. You know, you had a, you yeah, had those women that post that, but at the same time, you have women that be like, yeah, y'all ain't say they post, but you hear like, yeah, here, 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 her. Man, whatever, be acting like you know, yeah, that's pussy that's or, right, facts, you know, right. whatever it may be. They you know say what I'm saying? It's, oh, it's like, okay. Yeah, then when yeah, you do, it's you do catch now that. you act so like, like <laughs> out there. So you, you don't even feel like. So like, let's say you've been with it, been talking to a chick for like six months. You really going through it. You don't even feel. Do you feel like most most women even give you the space to be like, bro, like I'm down and out right now, and you don't you feel like it's a space out there, or do you just feel like it's? Do you feel like it's not the space, or do you just feel like you don't? you're not ready to open up in that kind of way to somebody. I guess it's kind of like a two-way street. Because, like, for me, I wouldn't... I'd be keeping a buck. Like, I'm I'm a way further than I was a year ago. But, like, my wife's still the only person that I, like, open up to for the moment. My therapist and my wife be the only people that I really can, like, unpack, let that shit off my back. You know what I'm saying? So, like, sure. I get it. Like, if you don't feel like it's, like, a space out there. But I'm just curious. Because, like, I feel like a lot of women... They be kind of like guessing, like why is he doing this, blah blah blah. But we we be having a lot of stuff going on, yeah. right. and if you don't have a place yeah. to like lay that down, then that is sometimes why I think it would dip off or you know act kind of funny or whatever That's if you real. don't have that space. That's real. So I mean, do y'all do y'all even feel like y'all got that space out there? Yeah. Not really. Yeah, I, I mean, mean yeah, it's it depends on the woman. I don't know about yeah, it like depends, yeah, depends on the woman. The yeah. woman you trying to be interested or pursue, but like I have I have good good female friends, yeah. so it's, I got, I have yeah. that space with them. But yeah. as far as just, I don't think I, I don't like opening up to people. Yeah. Yeah. Try yeah. to be the strong friend. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I got, I got female friends. Yeah. You know, I got my sister, I got my mom's, of yeah, course, man. you know. And the girl I'm talking to now, you know, it's a safe space, you know. I can be vulnerable. Like I tell her all the time, you know, being vulnerable is scary. Yeah. It's scary shit to me. Ooh, you open uh, up. You yeah. can get cut. Yeah. 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 You can get cut. Like, <laughs> you know, like, you can break your heart. Yeah, get your heart you broken. Yeah. It's scary. Exactly. Being vulnerable is just, you know, scary, scary for me. But, you know. Scary, so what would y'all feel like if a, if, a, if a chick started to lay that down on y'all? Do y'all feel like you, if you're not really trying to be serious with her, would you say, hey, like, would you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of tough. Like, because that's, 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 that's when the water get muddy, when they say, like, you leading them on. Because if she start laying, you know, unpacking her stuff for you and you kind of, Taking it on, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That kind of muddy the waters. Do y'all feel like that's a situation where you have to tell Shuddy, like, look, oh. man, like, I, you know, we cool, but I don't think we that on that level. Do you feel like you can even do that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, pers- I just try to, be, I try to be a good friend first. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if you feel like you can talk to me, I'm, I'm down to listen. I'm down to give yeah, my advice. Sure. But I mean, girls could get the wrong impression. Yeah. Like he easy to talk to, or he, he's a good person. But yeah. That, okay. So. It's like situational. I know everything <laughs> yeah, is a little situational, yeah, yeah, but it's like, like I, I see what I see. Now that I'm talking, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't ever really ask. Like yeah. I always, I don't ever ask men their perspective because I got my own perspective as a man. Mm-hmm. So now that I'm talking to y'all, like okay, I can see how they would say like okay, like it, it can be taken as le- being led on because right. like 
sometimes it's a breakdown in communication. Whereas, you know, like, right. y'all have certain expectations, which y'all seem to kind of be all on the same page. Like, we just chilling. Like, mm-hmm. let's just yeah. let it flow. And a lot of women be like, like, I'm letting it flow with you. And they they not being out there in the streets or whatever you want to yeah. call it. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I can see that. with the flow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's something, like, it's something, like, to, for me, sometimes it's something, like, I got to be cautious and aware about because there's been times where women... But they do finally find an insightful intellectual man and they just try to pour everything out on you mm-hmm. and y'all not committed yet. But you already got a lot of baggage yourself. I mean, we men, we warriors, we got our own armor that we carry in every day. And um, there are some women who understand like, oh, he's a little bit more insightful, a little bit more intellectual. And comfortably, they would just come tell you all of their problems. And I've been in situations where it's like... I- respectfully, like, I didn't have a good day today. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I didn't feel like this was a safe space for me to even come say that to you because we're not together. Yeah. And I'm just like, can you kind of ease up on like just drowning your problems and issues oh, on me? And it's and, and it backfired for sure. Like, nobody yeah. wants to hear that, especially when you're being vulnerable. Yeah. Like you said, you open. And it's wounding a lot of women when I've been in that situation and they, phew, boy, they do they clap back. But <laughs> it's something I got to do because it's like, that's strenuous on my mental health. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that go with Friends too, just man, facts. Putting, it, putting that on to you. Not, I feel like you should before you go to somebody, you should ask, ask them bro. how are where are you at exactly. mentally before bro, I put my problems on you. I seen some shit like that on yeah, Instagram, yeah, like, bro. Like you have to, you know, instead of just just okay, automatically okay. doing that shit, bro. You gotta ask them, like, hey, are you in a good headspace to really take on like some shit? I'm at on you, you know. Facts. So what if a, what if a chick? What if a chick like? I guess because do y'all want a chick to be really straightforward with you or a chick to just kind of y'all always saying go with the flow but that shit confusing <laughs> so would you rather a chick be up forward with you like hey like look I'm looking for a husband right now you know oh, what I'm yeah, saying like sure. this is what I want do you like that or is that kind of like yeah. you know you do that make you back up and be like well I ain't trying to be you know like that's a little too strong for me like is that something that y'all because they, they, be, they be curious they be like man they want you to be like they say like I'll be honest, this is a question I was going to ask later. They'd be like, these niggas be wanting to be chased now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, you know, like, would you prefer a chick to, like, chase you? Like, and what go into that? You know what I'm saying? Like, is that is that unattractive to you? Is that attractive to you? Is that what you want? I think is every shit different? Ahead, you think it's sexy? Oh, you I, said, I think that shit's sexy when it comes from, like, the right yeah. woman, bro. Yeah. The right yeah. woman, you know, that you want, bro, Facts. and they chase you, I'm like... Like, shit, come on. That can pop. Yeah, that can work. Right. What'd you do? So if it's the wrong one, you... <laughs> <laughs> you block that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I probably said part the same way. Like, why this man applying this much pressure? I yeah. wish it was another man. Yeah. So what, do y'all, what, do y'all feel about, what do y'all feel about that? You say applying pressure. What do y'all feel about that? Because I feel like that's 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 tough to do. When they be like, right. I'm going to need to apply the pressure, blah, blah, blah. Right. But at the same time, I'm like, this nigga always in my... You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So like, do y'all feel like that's really out there? He's like, I don't even know what to but do. But I mean, we, like, mean, we made to hunt. So let's yeah. Like, we so go you think you should, you yeah, should just go apply that pr- pressure? Yeah, we go to apply that pressure. <laughs> Yeah. Socially, it's it tough to say that it's because tough. it's like women is real quick to flip the script. Yeah. Girl, look at this. He was that. Yeah. 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 And it's like, but you told me to keep yeah. that same yeah. energy, to apply the pressure, pressure. Yeah. and now I'm now doing I'm too much. Pressure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 That don't phase me, though. Because I mean, yeah. that's what he we did. We, we, we post to. <laughs> like, we post to. This. <laughs> bro, you see, like, and it is just words. You see women, like, you know, they post a little, you know, group chats, whatever. Like, dudes, you know, constantly, like, you know, talking to them, they ain't responding, bro. I'm like, ah, I'm not that type of person. I'd yeah. rather just lay low yeah. than, you know, be put on, you know, yeah. in the group in chat. Group, yeah, so that, that's in the like back that. of your, hitting a group chat, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'll be like, <laughs> we're gonna get into, we about to get into this too. Like, bro, like, you know, I'm like, I'd be happy that I'd be married since yeah, exactly. I'm like, yeah, bro, nigga, group chat like now, you have an off night, you know what I'm saying, and the sheets or whatever it may be, you know, you're in the group chat, the group chat on the OKC shade room, you it's like, tough, dog, they might have your name, but you know it's you. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> it's tough, man. Thanks, it's, that's charge scary to the game. Yeah, charge to the game. I had an off night. Come on, give me a chance. <laughs> no, but uh, one for he said either there for execution on his behalf. He'll <laughs> he said, forget what happened <laughs> after. <laughs> I get out of here. No, uh, uh, so my podcast name Old to Black Love. So, do y'all feel like it's important to like find a black woman? Do y'all is that what y'all seeking out, or do y'all just feel like you know whoever come, whoever come? But like, do you feel like a black woman is exactly what you're looking for? Yeah. Yeah. Why is it a minority? A minority? Yeah, yeah, okay, a minority. Yeah, yeah. That's fine too. Like, is that you? Why do y'all feel like y'all want to? I mean, the bunnies I mean, is cool and all, be, but I mean, honestly, yeah, uh, a white woman not gonna really understand you. Yeah, she don't know. Like, she can try her hardest. Like, white women are they? They support the movement a lot, but like, they, they just know. they just never gonna really completely understand yeah. ever. Yeah. But so what do you, what do y'all? 
Yo, so you're just like, yeah, I just want a black woman. That's it? Like, you ain't ever considered? No, what's, I mean, cra- right, what's crazy right. is, honestly, I do, like, off tops. Like, I want a black woman. Like, I crave that. I desire mm-hmm. that. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but, 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 but no, but like it's one of those things where it's like a lot of times as a black man, you have like this extra responsibility in the back of your head because you might meet somebody of a different ethnic descent mm-hmm. and y'all might hit it off, everything might be going good. And you're like, dang, if I met a black woman that was just like, like this, yeah. I would be with her. Mm-hmm. And it's like, and then you get put in that tough situation where she's like, is it because I'm white or is it because I'm, mm-hmm. and it's like, it is. Yeah, and it's so kind of sticky, but at the same time, it's like I want my black woman though. Yeah, okay, hold on, we gonna unpack that though. But when you say like you wish you could meet a, a black woman just like her, and I, I, I get exactly what you're saying. Yeah. I can understand, but this is for no, 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 for, for sure. Other people, you know, what I'm saying like, are you? Do you feel like you know, like a black woman is a black woman? She can't be that white woman. You know, what I'm saying. No, for so sure. it's like, do you feel like it's an unrealistic expectation for me to find a black woman? In re- reality, like you know, like she she might not be able to be. No, that, no, no, you know, for what I'm saying? sure. Her I'm, life is not that. Yeah, I'm saying like on a like personal perception type thing, where it's yeah. like, yes, we all African American, we all black, but at the same time, we individuals, so we different. Our interests are different. Our dislikes are different. Yeah. And so you might meet a woman of a different ethnic descent, and you might be like, wow, we really hit it off individually. Like we actually kind of mm-hmm. connect. And it's like I just probably haven't met an African American woman just yet. Where I've hit it off with her just like that. Deep as up. Nah, man. I I see you over there. You kind of like back and forth. You (laughs) want to hop in. You kind of didn't want to hop in. You was like, "Ah, ah, ah." I've experienced, man. I've dated outside my race. Yeah. But I've always had that itch in my head, like, fuck, like, you know, I want to be with a black woman. And that's what I've always, you know, done growing up. I just kind of, you know, I kind of went outside and kind of seen, like, you know, how it was out there. But whenever I did day one, I'm like, fuck, like that was always kind of the thing I thought about was, you know, I want to be with the black woman. Yeah. Or, um, like you said, minority, you know, if anything, but just a black woman, she's gonna be able to understand you, you yeah. know. Her family is on the same type yeah. of shit you're on. A lot you know? of culture stuff is yeah. the same. Yeah. Uh do you do y'all feel like when you do date outside your race, it's like really you do you feel like it's constant pressure. Like if somebody catch you with a white girl, you oh, feel like oh, do you feel like do you feel like that's more part of it than anything else? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Stole. Like it's like, you know, you feel like I mean, it's cool. I mean, I, I promote black love. I feel like it's really important. It is. But it's like, do you feel like you getting pushed more towards black women because it's looked down upon to not be with a white woman? Yeah. More so than like I really want a black woman. Like, you yeah. know, keep it a buck. Cause That's I know I, it's a lot of pressure. Cause like <laughs> I know if I would have brought the bunny home, I've jumped, my family would be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the whole yeah. family would have like, what? You know nah, what I'm saying? Sure. But it's like, do you feel like it's more of that than what you really want? Or do you you honestly like I want a black woman because she understand me and it, it ain't it ain't about what everybody else wants. That's what I want. I mean it's a question for me. <laughs> I mean, my parents, bro, they're real understanding. Like yeah. they don't really trip off a race, bro. Mm-hmm. So um you know, if we did date a white woman, they wouldn't really trip okay. on it. So it's a got, personal choice. As long as she got her shit together, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. You know, not on some dummy shit. Um, but, you know, not for me. Gotcha. All right, cool. Honestly, I can say, I crave a black woman. Like, I, I want like I want that black love. Mm-hmm. But um, I can't sit here and lie and say, it's in the back of my mind all the time. Like, even when... Because a lot of white women, like, they're attracted to black men. Like, they gonna try, they shoot, they shot, they flirt, do all kinds of... All kinds of things, but right in the back of my mind, even at the front sometimes, if I commit to a white woman, personally, I feel like I let black people down. Mm-hmm. Point blank, period. Yeah. And I and in and in a sense, instead of me marrying her, I feel like I'm married into now being white. Yeah, I got you. So like you're selling out. That's like you I'm selling like. out. Yeah. Okay. Y'all have a mixed kid. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all kids have, have kids with a you black woman. Might, might be exactly. so something. It's just like, yeah. Oh, ending something. That's, that's, <laughs> that's my thing. That's that's, that's a that's a villain. real big thing to me. Yeah, you got something? Oh, no, and that's another thing. Like as soon as you bring her around, bro, that's when the homies start, you know, cracking jokes and shit. Yeah. You know, yeah. and especially yeah. black women. Black women, you know, they take that real to a thing. So yeah, they go. But I mean, I don't think really is. I think love is love, though. Yeah. At the end of the day, I mean, like I, I said, mean, whoever you give, who you like, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's love, yeah. is love. But I mean, people, all types of race, they date within their race. Right. So like, it ain't nothing, not a nothing wrong with just dating your own kind. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. of, uh, it's a lot of like, uh, I don't know, number of statistics on why people think black love don't won't work, don't work, why it can't work. It's a lot of that out there. So I mean, I, I'm they an advocate. It like it can. Like you just got to, you got to try to make it work. But um. 
Because, you know, I, I hate you. I'll be having to get into this spiel because I'll be learning a lot now. Yeah. But just like how, how short amount of time like we've been able to actually be like black and in love. You know what I'm saying? That really yeah. don't go back that long. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Really not even like a hundred years. You know, yeah. like just like a hundred years. They broke up the whole. You know what I'm saying? Like a hundred years is really kind of like when we started being really able to. Yeah. I think during slavery, like you have you have a family that get married. That man get sold off, so you you never really have true foundation of right. a, a black home. From the time we got here, there was no foundation of a black home, right. and so you know what I'm saying. So then we got they they rape our women, so they water down our bloodline even more. Mm -hmm. And then you know what I'm saying. So a lot of that to me is like I want to break that cycle. My dad always preached sure. to me, and it it wasn't never marry a black woman to break that cycle, but he always taught me to break the cycle, like have a family, you get married and have a kid. Like, I right. mean, he didn't have me in wedlock, but that's just what he taught me. And right. I feel like, you know, we just got to continue to like break that bad family cycle. Because I feel I like agree. a lot of that, a lot of even, I think sometimes it's on us as men. And it's sometimes because we didn't grow up with men. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, my dad did a lot of learning with me because he didn't have his dad and his right. life. So it's like, um, I feel like a lot of us just need to break that cycle. Like, yeah, black love is possible. Black it love is. ain't toxic. Black love ain't. It's not. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cardi B and and no, you know and them that, going man. going at each other and nah. doing all that stuff. Like, bro, you can you you can have a healthy relationship. You can. It all start with uh, communication. But I, I like what y'all fed me right here. I like that. I got a lot of good information. I can help my single brothers out. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna get That's into right. this uh, mailbag. I'm gonna get into this mailbag. I can hop in wherever. Story. Uh, let's see. I got like I said. I reached out on IG. Y'all know who y'all is. I didn't ask a lot of y'all some questions. I asked some of these uh, in here already, but uh, oh, this is a good one. It said, "Do you feel marriage has any benefits for a man today?" So they feel like you know, like I mean, with the world now and all the options, maybe it ain't no benefit to getting married. Do y'all yeah. feel like it's any benefits? I mean, uh, statistically, one out of two people get a divorce. Yeah, right so now it's fifty percent. Like, yeah, fifty percent. So it's like it's really just a business yeah. decision almost. It is, so, so, but do you tell, be, be honest? So, like, you, do you feel like like no, it's no benefit? I mean, because like with marriage to me, and when I say marriage, I mean some people want to get the paper, but to me, marriage ain't when you get the paper. Marriage yeah. to me is when you commit to somebody yeah. in in front of God if you're religious, or in front of you know y'all two, whatever mm -hmm. it is, something intimate where you say, "Look, I'm your person, and you my person." Mm -hmm. That's marriage to me. Going to yeah. the courthouse. And doing all that shit, that's not marriage. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it is marriage technically, but that's not you get married way before then, in my opinion. Yeah. So, um, so do you feel like like just getting I guess the thing is, do y'all feel like I got too many options to get married? Cause it's like, fuck, there's no reason for me to get married when I got I got all these options. And like do cause I guess women yeah. like, do I even need to waste my time trying to find a black man per se? Because uh -huh. he feel like or whoever. You know, because they got too many options. Like, you could just be single forever now. Which, that's what it kind of feel like. I think the benefits is just happiness, in my opinion. Happiness? Because um, there is options. Like, you know, don't get me wrong. There's beautiful women everywhere. But, you know, you got to have someone that actually makes you feel whole, you mm -hmm. know? So, I think just happiness. But yeah. I think being single, like, that's all you want. Just to be happy, yeah. you know? So we, I see, I see, yeah, both, yeah, I see yeah. both sides. Because, like, we go back to social media. Like, you, you got the... The whole world at the tip of your finger, so mm -hmm. you gonna always think grass greener on the other side. So yeah. you know, that that may stop you from being married. But we, when you say go into religion, like that behind every strong man is a is, is, is a good woman. Yeah, so yeah. and strong. then women are was what formed from the rib yeah, for the man. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, I'm gonna say it's essential, bro. I'm gonna say it's it's key. I'm gonna say marriage. It's that, bro. Like it's the goal. Yeah. And the reason I say that is because I mean. The quickest way to destruction is no discipline. Like mm -hmm. always feeling like, oh, okay, I can do this because I can do it. I can do this because I can do it. But being able to abstain away from certain things, there's beauty in that. Being yeah. able to say, I have my one woman. I love her. Like, yes, I could have multiple more. Like, yes, they throw themselves at me. But it's beauty in being able to deny what right, looks yeah. good for what is good. Yeah. Like it's the same thing with food, like obesity and certain stuff like that. Like it's it's a it's beauty when you see like man some discipline. Like I got discipline. My, like I desire that like to eat, but you know what? My discipline is gonna keep me away from that. So I think it's beauty beauty in there and having that discipline and commitment. Yeah, they say like social media, you got plenty of options when you really don't. Yeah, you know, you see a beautiful woman, you're like ah, oh, like I want her. She might not want you, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's we have plenty. Satisfying. Yeah, we have yeah. plenty of options, but I don't, I don't mean you know anything. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, I got another one. This is, I guess, y'all can all answer this. We kind of talked about it earlier, but they just like you know, what it, individually, what is your ideal woman? 
Uh, <laughs> like put it on the table. Whatever. Say, if she perfect, like you know what I'm saying? If she if you had your perfect woman, what what, what do you think your perfect woman would be? Ambitious, uh, sophisticated, uh caring. Caring. Uh just just genuine. Cause I mean people I see I see a lot of people aren't really good people, so just mm-hmm. Finding genuine people that are good people just got good intentions. Yeah. That, that, that's so what important. would you what you need though, bro? I like need, you know what I'm saying? I like I'll be wondering that's... like like something is like I need a woman that's gonna cook. Like something is like, all right, I need a woman that is gonna like, you know, you know, she gonna make need it to, feel like home. Make it feel yeah, like, like home. Yeah, but home it, is different to everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like so my like, mom, what is it she like cooked. She threw down. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I don't know expect. how to cook. So that's what you expect. Yeah, that's the expectation. That's what you want a woman. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, I keep it a bug. When with Alexis. I can cook better than Lexus, but she had to be able to do something. Mm-hmm. What I need for my wife is to be really consistent. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I want my wife to hold it down. Like I can do a lot of stuff, but I just need you to be consistent. I need you to be there when I need. You know when I say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. when you say you're gonna do something, I want you to. I want you to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I want you to hold up your end of the bargain. Like if you, if you, if you, if you say you're going to do something, like I need you to do it. Like as far as like working and providing for the family, like she don't have to make a lot of money, but I need you to do something that's positive to the house. Like I don't want a housewife. I mean, she can, but. She could be technically a housewife, but you're gonna have to be doing a nonprofit or something. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I got. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I need from like that's what I need from my wife. I don't want no trophy. You know what I'm saying? I don't have I don't desire to have no trophy that she just stay at home and go shop and just look good for me all day. And some niggas want that. They tell them that all that all day. Like my wife don't have to tell me I look good. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm comfortable with who I am. But what I do need my wife to do is like hold down the crib. That's what I need. You know what I'm saying? Hold down the crib. And do that kind of deal. So when I ask like what your ideal woman is, that's what I'm kinda of getting to. Cause like shit, I don't my wife got a big booty and she got the, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I know my, you know, that's definitely like that definitely I, that's why I hit her up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to lay on the things. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? Like that go into it for me. So like on like kinda on a deeper level, like when a woman is like, you know, some of these women is out here like, what do a nigga want? Like some yeah. be like, some niggas like some niggas just want you to tell them they. Some niggas want to be told that they pretty. You know what I'm saying? And keep it a buck. I'm not one of them. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, like, what do you what do you want? Like, when a woman is really trying to be with you, like, for you to settle down, like, what she what she gotta really bring to the table? I mean, I think consistency, of course, like you said, uh, family oriented is huge mm-hmm. for me. You gotta be, yeah. you know, close to your family. I mean, as long as your family is bring that positive energy yeah. to you, and you gotta, you know, you gotta be cool with mine too as well. Um, loving, you know, ambition. Um, uh, family or not family or I'm sorry uh, gotta carry that humor I like to talk that shit humor? so you yeah. gotta have yeah gotta have you know don't be talk tripping shit. all yeah, the time yeah. Yeah. a lot like of people house. can't hang at our house bro we kinda rough sure. we yeah. be going at it yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like to talk shit I like to you know I like to roast I like to Joan yeah. you know yeah. so yeah. you gotta be able sure. to bring that same energy not be you know soft and like ah oh, yo he's you know clowning on me you just you know you gotta yeah. have that you gotta have that and you know, personally, I just like someone I can just groove with, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. facts. I mean, for me, off top, I mean, I know it may seem cliche, but I mean, I'm a believer. I mean, I need God fearing woman, mm-hmm. yeah. somebody who can pray for me when I ain't emotionally strong enough to pray for myself. Um, submissive wife, like not saying listen everything I say do and yeah. all that. Like people take that submission thing and yeah. straight run with it. Um, somebody who's not afraid to take risk. Mm-hmm. Somebody um, that can challenge me and I can challenge them. Like you said, don't take everything too serious. Like, I want to joke, be able to have fun, like crack jokes, do simple stuff like that. And um, somebody that's simple, man, believe it or not. Like, I am I see the, like, the divine in the, in the simple. Mm-hmm. Like, when I say that, I just mean you can want, like, you know, Birkin bags and all of that. But somebody that's just cool with, like, yo, let's grab Chick-fil-A or... Even a dollar burger, like dollar burgers held me down my whole life. I'm, I'm not graduating from them. I'm going to be real with you. The McChicken held me down. You know what I'm saying? The McChicken held me down. That built this man you see today. The McChicken held me down. Somebody where we can day. grab a McChicken, drive to a rooftop or something. You know what I'm saying? Or just sit in, a, sit in a car and listen to music and have a car conversation. Mm-hmm. Like that. Okay. I love that. I love that for all y'all. Real talk. Like, the thing is, is like, I don't feel like... We should put relationships in a box. Like everybody wants something mm-hmm. different. Everybody is something different. So if somebody don't choose you, like I feel like a lot of us take that shit to heart, and we be like, "Oh, this is exactly what every nigga be like." Right. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta go for it. the nigga that ain't the one that's out there tricking, yeah. or yeah, you can't yeah, go yeah. for the chick that's the one that's the most popping. You know what I'm saying? You really gotta find like your person because everything that glitter and gold. That's you know what I'm saying? Like real that's talk. Right. Like you got 
when you be really married, like that's something that you really learn. You be like, yeah. dog, like you be seeing a lot of fake relationships out here. Right. And you be like, it, it be it be kind of gross because you like, I know they miserable at home. You know what I'm saying? Not even trying to like, I don't gotta, I don't be guessing. Just like you hear conversations. Mm -hmm. That's all. Right. So yeah, you just gotta find your person. But uh, last question from the mailbag. You know what I'm saying? Big spoon, little spoon. You know what I'm saying? Big spoon, bro. little spoon. Y'all got to let me handle this first. What's up? Big spoon. I got to handle this first. <laughs> All right, bro. So I'm the type. I ain't even, I ain't even on cap. I'm little spoon, You bro. little spoon, bro? Like, I like to take turns, but little spoon is with you know, making nigga feel love. <laughs> bro, I will pass. I will pass out. Being a little spoon. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Bro, I'm being honest. Nigga, throwing yeah, a movie. Nah, throwing yeah. a movie. Bro, she come, come up behind mm, you, hold you. Feeling love. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but we, I think that go back to, like, just nurturing. Like, we was we was kids. Like, our yeah. mom, just, yeah, they coddled us mind. our yeah. whole life until we got too big. But mm -hmm. so we still want that. Mm -hmm. and need that. Bro, that's so, what my mom, my mom be saying that, bro. She's like, you a big baby. Like, you know? I go lay on my you mama lap. Like, I love my mama. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. right. Yeah, when, when Alexis ain't around, I go lay on my mama lap. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, man, I love you, man. It's I don't do it when Alexis there because I want her to be feeling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I lay on your lap. But like when she ain't there, I definitely be on my mama lap. Bro. Yes, I miss bro. these days. Yeah. yeah. What up, Dequan? You ain't said nothing. You little spoon? Oh, no, 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 bro. I'm a little spoon, bro. Little spoon. Yeah. I'm gonna go a little spoon too. Bro. That's real. We can switch, yeah. but yeah, little <laughs> spoon. Yeah, like you me definitely like feel fifty fifty, but like. I guess it depends. Like sometimes little spoon get hot. You know what I'm saying? You don't got no control when you little spoon. Sometimes you don't got control when you little spoon. Like, arms be hurting though. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, you when spoon, you when you big spoon, spoon, that arm do be sleep. So you know what I'm saying? Little spoon. You know what I mean? Like man, I mean, yeah. like the head on the chest, little. Like I guess it's like you can lay your head on. That's that's yeah. lay your head yeah, on your chest. Take in between little spoon. Yeah, 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 that's technically. I be happy as shit being little spoon. But yeah, that's that's love. Like rub my back, rub my head. I like that kind of stuff. If y'all want to get it, when you get it, you feel safe. You want to keep it like rub his head. Back, just make him feel, you know what I'm saying? Just make him feel at home. Like, nah, look, it's all, like, yeah, give him his, like, be, his, be his safe man. space. It's like, hard being a black man. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be, be his peace, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Be his peace. He can't be toxic, but yeah. you can also be his peace. Yeah, we need that. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's funny as hell. But uh, before we get out of here, y'all got any questions? A nigga that's like locked down, you know what I'm saying? You wanna know the lockdown? Before we get, I wanna just give y'all the opportunity. Oh, bro, I got a good ass question. What's up? You know, whenever you are pursuing someone, you're talking to someone, it's been a couple of months, what do you do like to just keep them happy you know like uh, like like everything be like cliche answer but I'm more mature now than I was then now I understand like you really gotta just communicate mm -hmm. like you can really like tell them like I, even talking to my wife's friends and stuff like that you can really say you can, they women really want you to be honest mm -hmm. I mean some of them be lying don't get me wrong mm -hmm. and they, it hurts their feelings but being honest can really never go wrong mm -hmm. Uh, my, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a lesson that I learned from somebody much older than me. My granddad, he, when I first got married, or right before I got married, it was somewhere along there. He was like, look, son, he's like, uh, as long as you tell the truth, nobody can say anything bad about you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You could you could tell Shorty that, you know, what you want from her, what your expectations are from her, uh, and she can't go to the next person and say anything bad about you. You know what I'm saying? You always going to have a door there because mm -hmm. you was always honest with her. It might hurt her feelings at the moment. And it might be uncomfortable for you. It might be uncomfortable for her. But mm -hmm. be honest. So, like, even if you're yeah. feeling a chick, like, you could, I feel like you should really say that. Because, like, sometimes it be, the feeling be reciprocated. But we both be, we always playing that back and forth game. And you take that back and forth game into your relationship mm -hmm. or your marriage where you're always guessing. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And whereas, right. you know, you could really have those conversations. I learned therapy really taught me this. Because you got to let them all down and have them conversations. So, if you're really feeling shuddy. Say, hey, like, I'm really feeling you. Like, things can be different. You know, we don't even have to be boyfriend yeah. or girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? But, look, I'm, like, really feeling you. Like, you know, I'm just letting you know if you're not feeling me. Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. I know right. it's, Where I'm it at, don't be that tight. easy. Yeah, it yeah. don't be that easy in yeah. reality. But uh, I feel like that's, I think that stand-up shit. Like, whenever you talk to, like, people that be, like, in the game for a while, I'll be like, oh, geez, that's the stuff that they always tell you. Like, bro, like, you can't ever go wrong with being honest. So, like, if you... Courting a chick, I feel like just be honest with her so she can know. Yeah. I mean, it's, it make you vulnerable, but I think it also give you that respect. Like they respect you too. And if somebody really fuck with you, they ain't really trying to hurt you. Right. But if we playing this guessing game, I mean, shit, he, he probably over there fucking somebody yeah, else. You know what I'm saying? Like, the negative yeah, you can every make time. It, yeah, you can make your you can make your your world negative. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And right. you can't even do that in your marriage. So Jeremy, like, I've done that where I've communicated mm -hmm. vulnerable, like you know, totally sure, like, bro, like I really that. I really care about you, like mm -hmm. you know. But she's like, oh, like I deserve, like you know, constant, like you, you know, 
calling her up, whatever. Like, she hey, like if one. you if you need anything, if <laughs> yeah. you know, just like that, bro. Like, I don't know. Sometimes you got to go over because I've talked to them about it. I'm like, bro, sometimes you got to go over, and I thought I was doing enough. You so know? she she wanted even more from you, yeah. And you told her like, look, like that's too much. And she was like, well, I need more. Yeah, some, some well, friends she like that. Ain't the, I, think, I mean, at the end of the day, she ain't the one. She going to yeah. find a dude that do that for her, or she might not. Her, her, her expectations might be unrealistic. I feel like having realistic expectations, even I was talking to my godmom today. Uh, I was talking to her, and I was like, man, because I, I told her we was going to do this. And I was like, you know, I feel like a lot of single people, their expectations are truly unrealistic. Yeah, Like, you're not going to find that person that do everything for you. But you got to find that person that's willing to try to do those things for yeah, you. No, My sure. wife, even today, bro, we got in, we we had a little spat before we came in here because, like, we started at 6. I wanted my son gone way before y'all got here. You know what I'm saying? Because I had stuff to do in here. Like, I'm really a punctual person. But, like, after a while, like, I got over it because I know she was trying to get here as fast as she wanted to. Yeah, like, I know yeah. she, that's why she came in here. Quan Yu came, came here. That's why she came in here a little frustrated because she was frustrated with herself because she wanted to get here sooner. Mm -hmm. Like, that's that's the kind of stuff. Like, you got to have somebody that's willing to put in effort. No, yeah. she wasn't perfect today. Mm -hmm. You're not going to, my wife is, she never on time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I be wanting, she never on time. I'm super punctual. Mm -hmm. But as long as I see she putting in the effort, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what matters. Yeah. Sure. So I think even just like women or men, you got to realize like, you gotta have realist, realistic expectations. No, no man or woman is perfect. Nobody's gonna give you all the attention you need. You gotta seek self first. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be able to self fulfill, also. But I feel like no man or woman is perfect. But you can also like uh, be more understanding, or they need to be more understanding to you. Like, look, I'm trying. Right. And if my trying ain't enough for you, then fine. But I feel like as long as you got an individual that's trying. And ain't nothing that can't be done. Right. Okay. Shit, that's a single life for you, man. You feel yeah. like you're putting all this effort yeah. in. And it's ain't going nowhere. You're like, fuck. Like, I feel know? like some I feel like that's why we have these. Cause I feel like I feel like a lot of people and like I said, we had a women's one, women's one too. But just to pee, tell people. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, bro. I mean, I mean, good. <laughs> <laughs> he got that little bladder. He went before we got <laughs> here. <laughs> we gonna keep that. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah. but uh yeah, like I said, I feel like it's just unrealistic expectations out there. Um, yeah. and if you're not ready to be in a relationship you're just not ready yeah. you know what I'm saying at the end of the day I, I don't think it's anything wrong with being single because mm. you when you when you make that leap you're making that leap in my opinion like mm. it ain't no going back for me and Alexis yeah. and do you be honest and like communicate that to that person like bro like you know this shit's kind of unrealistic like, yeah I think you I think you should be able to yeah. but I think that's a part of I think a lot of single people also need to uh, surround themselves with people, when you surround yourself with like single people that don't know, it's like the blind leading the blind. Yeah. So if you really want to be in a relationship and you really want that for your life, I think you need to surround yourself with people that's living that life. Yeah. If you, like, it's like people who be, um, uh, move it back a little bit like that. Yeah, it should be stable. Uh, if you, you know, if you married and you hang around single people, you're going to run into them single issues. You're going to have face a lot more temptation. Yeah. You're going to have to deal with that that world. You know what I'm saying? Right. Whereas if you're running with like-minded people, if you around other married people, around if you, you know, single and you want to get married, you should hang around. It's like what they talk about wealthy people. Mm -hmm. Wealthy people don't hang around broke folks. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't teach you nothing. They can't do nothing for you. Yeah. So yeah. if you're really looking for that, you should hang around people that's in that world. Because like, because the woman you're looking for should be hanging around in that world also. You know what I'm right. saying? And y'all can be on that same aligned path. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, if you're really, you know, looking for that, you need to surround yourself, put yourself in that yeah. area. Like, it's even like, like we trying to make spaces for um, single people to be around people and not feel uncomfortable. Because it can't be uncomfortable being a single person or just dating and being around married people. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it's just a different vibe. But I feel like you should, you should have a friend or two friends that are married or in a relationship that you can say, hey, this is what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. You good. <laughs> yeah. Um, like I was saying, you should have, you know, uh, that this is what I'm going through. And I feel like they can really tell you more so, like, hey, bro, that's unrealistic. And your your woman should have someone that's realistic to tell you, somebody that can tell her, hey, that's unrealistic. Yeah. In our relationship, we're starting to learn since we've been doing this. Uh, adding a third party to your relationship is huge. Like, just whether it's God, the Word, a book, you know what I'm saying, a therapist, an older couple, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that you can bounce ideas off because they can ground you. Like when you go into them and saying, hey, my wife is, uh, she just ain't cleaning up how I want to. Yeah. And you tell them the whole story and they say, hey, look, that's unrealistic, bro. She got kids, she got a job, she trying to work out, she trying to do this, that, and the third. And then somebody that can tell you, that's, hey, that's unrealistic. So I feel like if you can put yourself around those kind of people that are living it, 
they can give you, they can tell you what's realistic and unrealistic. I mean, it's some bad advice out here. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But I feel like as long as you surround yourself with the people that's in that world, they're going to lead you in the right direction. Because being married, if you've been around some people that have been married for a while, they're going to tell you, like, bro, that shit on the internet, that shit on TV, fake. Bro, this yeah. is work. It's sweat equity. Every day you wake yeah. up. Every day you wake up. Like I was saying uh, the other day, like I was watching a Dr. Umar. Like he got <laughs> hella videos. I'll be watching some of his funny, funny ass videos. He's like, Yeah, y'all, y'all don't want to sweat. Y'all don't want to, you know, y'all don't want to sweat. Like y'all, you know what I'm saying? To be like, you know, like a relationship, like a, yeah. to be like vulnerable. You know, you you gotta sweat. Like to do to be in a relationship, you got to sweat. So yeah. like you gonna feel uncomfortable, she gonna be uncomfortable. Like I said, just today. We had this uncomfortable moment. When I go home, like that's that's nothing. We can, we probably will talk about it, but mm-hmm. you gotta have uncomfortable moments. It ain't gonna be perfect. So, mm-hmm. but as far as that, if she have unrealistic expectations, all you could do is what you could do. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess that's what I'm learning too. In this point in my life, it's like uh, just be be. Uh, if you if you if you if you find with you in here, you know what I'm saying with yourself. The other shit, you can move on. You know what I'm saying? Like you can move on. You don't need a person right. to. Uh, to to verify you or you don't have to chase a, a woman right. or a man. It's good to have them. My wife completes me, no doubt. She yeah. might have had. She might fifty she might fifty one when I got forty nine. You know what I'm yeah, saying? She that for me. You know what I'm saying? Like she might she might say any five when I got twenty five. Yeah. And vice versa. Like yeah. it ain't always fifty fifty. Yeah. Uh but I do feel like once you get those people in your life, they can tell you, like, bro, if she not with it, bro, move. Yeah, yeah. Somebody somebody is with it out there. So that's a long answer, but, yeah, but that's that's sure. just that's the that's the honest. So, but y'all got anything else, man? Like I said, I can we could talk with that mic off. Exactly. But uh, you got anything specific that y'all want me to get into while we? Went for the coin. When, when did I, you know she was the one? When did I know my wife was the one, man? It's a weird thing because you ask any man, and I think they give you the same question. It's just one day you just kind of just know. I don't feel like any man should be pressured into marrying a woman. I don't feel like if a woman is pressuring you, I think you should not allow her pressure to impact your decision. But I think a man just knows. It's something, it'd be like one day where a woman just does something and in your mind you say, that's my wife. Like, I I can't see myself going another day without this woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, whether she in the kitchen cooking you rotel or something and it ain't something small, you just sitting on the couch and you be like, man, I don't want to live another day without this person. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to live another day without this person. And I feel like that's what it is. I don't feel like it should be on a selfish or nothing like that. Like, she, she, of course, she can make you better, but you don't have to worry about what I pro- provide for her or anything like that. If you feel like that woman completes you and you feel like you can give something to her, yeah. I feel like that's that's kind of when you know it's like, damn, like, I don't want to go another day without her. Because, like, you know, like, uh, Shorty's that you talking to, bro. You can go days without texting them or weeks without seeing them. And you just like, whatever, we just pick, you know. Mm-hmm. Whatever you know, what I'm saying, See, but uh, yeah. when you with your with my, with my wife, yeah, when she come home late for work, it, it impact me. You know, what I'm saying when my wife come home late for work, I be like, damn, I miss my, I miss my wife. You know, what I'm saying that's yeah. when you, I feel like that's when you know, like you like you want your person, you feel like complete with that person around, yeah. and it ain't on just some some lusts. You know, what I'm saying because yeah, like sure. you can definitely get on some lustful shit where you like, I just want, you know, what I'm saying that's the main thing. <laughs> but, but was like, that something that pursued? Was it lust that got you to her? To uh, get to nah, where you we, we figured had a, out, we had a cool, we had a cool uh, interaction before. You know, what I'm saying I thought she was attractive. Like how we got together, I was talking to her friend before, and we kind of knew each other through there. Mm-hmm. I broke up with her friend, and then we just had some interactions later on. But it was like we had similar humor. Mm-hmm. Like you had mentioned, that was really important. Like, bro, we talk cash shit. That's what I'm saying. I tell somebody like if they ever if they ever down on bad times and yeah. choose to move in, ask to move in with us. You can't. I'm a, my door is always open. But I'm gonna talk shit. I'm like, oh, this is a homeless nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up? Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how it is. Sure. Like you can't you can't breathe in my house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's yeah. like a big thing for me. Like we had that relationship before. Like uh, I'm a person that really takes shit slow. I think I'm kind of similar to you, D. Mm-hmm. Take it real slow. And so it would never was that for me. Like was we having sex way before we should have? Probably. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like we had sex early on, but um. Yeah, I thought I was, you just give it a person. You're like, damn. The first night, look, I knew I, I knew she was my wife. The second time we dated for like a couple months, and then we broke up. Didn't even break up. We just stopped talking because we weren't dating. We date. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And then we we ran it back, bro. I go to bed early. I always have. Mm-hmm. I sat in the parking lot and talked to her till four in the morning. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of stories that we hear, it be that when you had those conversations, like we not sacrifice sexing. sleep. Yeah, we not we not we not talking about sex. We not talking about nothing. Like we having a real conversation about stuff that you care about, you know what I'm saying? Like with this person. And then you like, uh, damn, like 
that felt different. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. knew that day, and she knew that day too. We both knew like that day is like, damn, I think this is my, I think this is my person. We sat in chops sure. for four hours. We didn't, I don't even, we didn't kiss. We didn't do nothing, bro. We yeah. just had, and I had to get up at six in the morning and drive four hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. all right, our uh, first day anniversary is like two weeks from now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was the night before Thanksgiving. I woke up the next morning and drove out of town, and I was like, yeah. I know I like her because mm-hmm. I stayed up till four in the morning. We got on the road at six. And, I, you know, driving, you just waiting for it to hit you back. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, on me, on that, you know, that giddy shit. So that's how, that's how I knew. So, for sure. But, uh, but yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for coming on. Like I said, I'm glad I could answer some questions for y'all. I was a little long-winded. I get used to talking now. Uh, but, uh, good, bro. But uh, I think it's important for y'all to uh, have people to reach out to, whether it's me or somebody else. It just has men. Like, if y'all really are pursuing uh, that in your, in your life, I feel like you should reach out to a man that got that in his life. Or add him to your circle. Or try to add him to your circle. Don't be afraid to ask a man questions. I feel like a lot of time we, as men, we begin in our own way, being afraid to reach out to other men and ask questions or ask for help with certain stuff. Right. But uh, I feel like if that's the journey that you're searching for, I feel like you should, you know, reach out to right. another man that that got that and he can give you some advice and just tell you like, hey, you know, I think this is realistic, not realistic. I feel like, you know, this will help you. But uh, I appreciate y'all for coming on. Y'all put me on game, man. Mm-hmm. I'm not mad that I'm not out there in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm happy that <laughs> I got my situation because y'all sure. make it sound hey, hard. Bro. Hey, <laughs> single life ain't it. Y'all make it sound hard. It, I'll be seeing y'all complaining, but now, now I can't see it. No, yeah. Yeah. Streets, <laughs> streets is done. done. Yeah. I mean, it's it's fun and all, but like you say, it seemed kind of lonely to me. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's lonely. It's a lot of lonely nights. It seemed kind of lonely to me. I can't even lie. It's nice, bro. Just like, you got to... You gotta worry about hitting those shorty up. Like right, you already bro. got one that's one to come over. Yeah. Just kick it when you go to sleep. Look, bro, y'all right. put the pressure on me because, like, look, I was like, damn, man, I've been in a relationship so long that sometimes, some days, I just don't care. So I was like, man, I was like, I gotta make sure I put my shit on today. I had to make sure I got a haircut. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I gotta make sure I put some decent clothes on because these city niggas be coming through. And I always, they always gotta keep up with themselves. I'm like, nah, yeah. and I think it's important. Some work, bro, I think it's important what you said, like. It's the company that you keep. Yeah. You know, if you roll around like single dudes, bro, you know, they're gonna attract that. But if mm-hmm. you roll around with couples, For you sure. know, it's gonna make you wanna be happy, you know. Yeah, be around know, that. Like I said, yeah. you can have single friends. I don't think there's nothing wrong with having single yeah. friends, but I right. think you do need to add that into if that's something that you want, I feel like it's important. Like yeah. I said, when you in a room of five people, you know what I'm saying? That's how you could tell. You could tell like yeah. just by the, your five closest friends, you know where you are. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So mm-hmm. it's like even then, like if you wanna truly be a married person, like you can't be around five single people. Yeah. It ain't gonna crack where five single get people get married. You know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like sometimes when a man get married, they be like, dang, they kind of gravitating away from the group. It don't be because they don't love you. It's just like I can't be around five single niggas all the time because like y'all gonna be bringing out y'all gonna be bringing out five. Exactly. Boys. Exactly. And I'm gonna be like, oh, uh, that's hey, that's, hey, that's that's important. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. put yourself in temptation. Yeah, temptation. put yourself in bad situations. situations. Yeah, because yeah. I, I feel like a lot of people do that because it'd it be hard. Yeah. It'd be hard to stop hanging out. You don't have to stop hanging out with your friends, but it'd be hard to like not be a part of the group per se yeah. when it comes to that time. But yeah. like, if you really, if that's really wrong for yourself, like eventually you got to take that leap. So for sure. Yeah. yeah, but like I said, I appreciate y'all for coming on. Uh, man, what's y'all socials again? Oh, hold on. Before we get there, Daquan, please plug your book. I'm going to put this in something <laughs> oh, separate. Funny. I meant to say it earlier. Please plug your book. Nah, so uh, November 27th, I'll be releasing my first book called Real Raw Restored, Leading yeah. With Your Flaws to See Others Set Free. And just a brief, you know, just backstory for that is just, I just want to tell a hood story intelligently. Like, I feel like a lot of people go to school, you get the masters, you get the doctors, you listen to the logistics and the research. But they ain't going to give it to you the way we going to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Coming from them situations. So it's me literally trying to equip those people who feel like they are equipped because they went and got the degree, the certificate. I'm telling you how to approach us and how we like to be approached and telling you to be patient. Because I know you eager because you just went through all that school, but now you got to come build this trust because yeah. I'm used to inconsistency. So, yes, sir. Yeah, I, can't wait. I can't wait for that. I'm excited for that. You know. $20, get your money ready. Yeah, $20. Get your money ready. <laughs> Man, if you're in the Oklahoma City uh, area, feel free to come to the book release party, going away party as well. Come through. We're just going to vibe, have a good time. Don't feel obligated to buy the book. Just come kick it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So if y'all want to tell me y'all socials again, we're gonna get up out of here. For sure. So I'm Daquan on Instagram, D A Y dot Q U A N N. And I'm D Sims. Uh, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, uh, whatever. Uh D Simmons21. So yeah, follow. I'm Tay. You can follow me at uh Tay Day20, T-A-E-D-A-Y 20 <laughs> yeah. on Twitter and Instagram. 
Nah, yeah. He a personality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to get in. Make sure y'all go over to oldtoblacklove.com. We got the merch up. Uh, follow us on Instagram at oldtoblacklove. All of that, you know what I'm saying? But we going to get up out of here. So, peace. Peace. Uh, appreciate you. That was a good